Hey guys, what's up? It's Ben Morgan here, and today I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial on how you should save Blender animations. And the reason I'm showing you guys this is because at the beginning stages of when I started to use Blender, I didn't even know how to render an image, how to make what I saw on the 3D viewport appear on my screen, basically. I would take screen grabs. It was really bad. But then as I learned more about rendering and finally like rendering animations, there are some things that I wish I would have known in the beginning. All right. So if you want to render an image in Blender, say you have this beautiful image of the default cube, all you do is press render, or the shortcut for that is F12. So that will render your image. And to save this as an image, you can either press F3 or you can do image, save as image. And doing so will give you the dialog to save the image. Do not do save a copy, save all images, whatnot. That will give you something different. Also, save image does not do it. You have to do save as image. Okay. And now, what if I wanted to render an animation. Well, the first things that you should be looking at are these settings right up here. The frame range is going to give you the range at which your animation will run. Right now it's going to render frames 1 to 250. The resolution is the resolution of your render. By default it's 12, 8, uh, 1920 by 1080 and at 50% quality, meaning that it's actually going to be half of 1920 by 1080, half of that resolution. So if you bump that up to 100%, it's going to be full 1080p. And then you got the frame rate as well, and then the aspect ratio and all that, you don't really have to worry about. Okay, and now finally, the only other place you really have to worry about is output. Now by default, it's going to give you your temp folder. You really want to change that. If you've been saving things to it, you're going to find that you have a lot of junk in there that you want to just delete. So to change it, you just press the little folder icon and you can go to the folder of your choice. Right. When you go to the folder, I recommend you create a new directory and name it something you'll remember. Because if you do not, you're going to get 250 images on here that you don't want to have. So what we're going to be doing is saving our animation as an image sequence. And the reason that we do this is it gives us the freedom to where if our render crashes, we don't have a corrupted video file. We have maybe... 50 of the 250 renders complete because they're images, they're image files, and then we just, the next time we'll just start from frame 51 to 250 instead of starting the whole render over. So that's one of the benefits of rendering in image sequences instead of MP4 or AVI formats. Because you can see here, if we click on the PNG, we do have options. We have image formats, uh, we can save as JPEG, um, as a uh, you know, a PNG, we want to save as a PNG because that will be uncompressed. A JPEG will be compressed. And you also have these formats over here, H.264, AVI, MPEG. But again, we want to save as a PNG because what we're going to later do is load up this image sequence and render it into a video. This is the method that movie studios will use, animation studios will use because it's just the safest and best way to render an image. So if we wanted to add a little animation to our cube so we have something going on in our render, I'll just add a keyframe location, go to frame 250, I'll just move it over here, I location, and now our cube is moving across the screen. And so now if we were to press render animation, 
Blender would go and it would render all of these frames. And if I were to go to the folder where I have this saving it, you can see that I have a whole lot of images being made. They're being numbered, meaning that they're a sequence. And the computer will later be able to tell which is the, what is the order of the images based on the numbering of them. And I'll be able to load them up, any program that can load an image sequence, uh, and we can render it as a video. So that is the best way to render an animation. So I'll just stop it at that frame. What we would do next is we could actually load it into the video editor. So go up here in Blender, go to video editing. You can do add image. I have 58 images. And we're gonna change the start frame and end frame to match that of our images. So end frame should be 58. That's down here. And we're gonna do add image strip. And you can see now when we scroll through, the cube moves, which is great. It's exactly what we want. We don't even have to change anything. All I have to do now, go to the default view, delete our cube, press F12. Since we have that loaded up in the image in the video sequence editor, it's going to show us that image. So what we would then do is change our end frame to say 56, the end frame of our image sequence. And now we could change this to the H.264 format and press render animation and it would very quickly render this for us as a video since the images are already made and it's just putting it into video format. So now you can see if I were to open up this in my folder we have the AVI of the cube moving. And that my friends is the best way to render an animation. Thank you for watching.